this is Jackie Eichhorn. I teach flute, clarinet, saxophone, and piano here at Music Royale in Powell. And today I'm going to show you how to properly assemble a saxophone. So first you want to make sure that your case is facing upright. You want the bigger part of the case on the bottom. Otherwise, when you open it, your pieces will spill all over. Um, if it's a younger student, um, I would have them put it together on the floor, put the case on the floor. It's a lot easier than having it in your lap. Um, so once you get that set, you want to unzip it or unclasp it, depending on the case. And you want to learn where the parts are. It's pretty, pretty easy with a saxophone. There are only three pieces and they have their own little parts in the case. Uh, so first you're going to put your neck strap on. Most saxophones come with a basic neck strap or you can buy a nice cushion one online or in the store. And then you want to get your reed out of your case and put it in your mouth or in a cup of water to get it wet. And while you're doing that, you want to take out the neck of your saxophone, this piece right here. You don't want to be grabbing it by this key. You don't want to bend this at all. Um, so I would just hold it by the bottom or by the top. And then you grab your mouthpiece out of the case. You take it out of your mouthpiece cap and leave your ligature in there for a moment. And then you just want to twist it on. If it's a newer saxophone and your cork is pretty sticky, you'll want to use some cork grease. Uh, most saxophones will come with cork grease also, or you can buy it at the store for about 50 cents to a dollar. So you just want to rub a little bit of that on the cork if it's new. Not glob it on, otherwise it will get all over your case. And you want to take your mouthpiece and you want to just twist it on without, again, bending this key here. And then you want to have it until it's about, I don't know, a centimeter from the end, depending on your, the way you tune the saxophone, and, and you'll learn more as you start to play the instrument. So probably about right there. And then you want to get your ligature from your mouthpiece cap, and you want to get your reed, your wet reed, and you want to set it on the mouthpiece just like this. So the flat side, the side, it probably has a logo on the back. You want that to be facing the mouthpiece. And you want to line the tip up with the tip of the mouthpiece. And then very carefully, you want to slide your ligature on, line it up with the tip, line it up with the bottom. And then you want your ligature to be right about, your mouthpiece has this angled part and then it sort of straightens off. So you want your ligature to be right about there. You want that centered. And then you want to twist the screws just until they stop, otherwise you'll crank them on and strip the screws. Now ligatures, the screws will always be on the right hand side. I have an inverted ligature, so my screws are in the back, but most ligatures, the screws will be in the front, always on the right hand side. So then you'll know if your ligature is on correctly. So once you have this set up, you want to take the body of the saxophone out of the case. And again, grab it by the bell so you're not damaging any of the keys. And then you want to just, it, it shouldn't take a whole lot of force. You just want to twist this right in here. There's a screw. Uh, it's different on different saxophones. Mine's on the right. And you want to unscrew it just a little bit, and it should just press right in there. If not, you, you want to take a cloth and just clean off the bottom of the neck, and it should twist right in. So you just want to tighten this until it is just tightened, not, again, don't over crank it. And then there's this ring right in the back here, and that is where you want to clip your neck strap. Now if the student is small, which most fifth and sixth graders are, you want to have them play on the side. Their band director will want them to play on the side. And so you will tighten your neck strap to where it's comfortable, and then you can move your neck around and then you can move your mouthpiece just so it's straight, just like this so you're not playing with your head to the side. So that is how you assemble it. And then to take it apart, you're just going to do the reverse of the way you put it together. So first take your neck strap off. And then you're going to untwist this, take the neck off, and you can set this to the side. And then we're going to swab it out. If you've been playing for a while and there's condensation in the body of the saxophone, you'll want to get a swab. Uh, most saxophones will come with a swab or a big pipe cleaner looking swab that 
will get the condensation out. Uh, I prefer a silk swab, so you can get these at the music store online. So you just fish this through. It's a little tricky with this one. You sort of have to fish it through. And it should just tip right out. Oh, tip right out of the bottom. Again, you're not going to have to swab a whole lot because most of the condensation will be in the neck and the mouthpiece. But just to show you how, so you'll fish this through and you'll pull just gently. It doesn't take a whole lot of force. And then you will return this to the case just the way it came out. Again, not squishing any of the keys, bending anything. And then you want to take your neck and you want to take your ligature off. Set that aside, take your reed off, put it back in its case, and then you want to swab this out very carefully. You want to just fish that in there and pull gently. I don't always advise you clean out the mouthpiece. Maybe every once in a while when it starts to look like it needs to be cleaned, you just want to fish that through. And you take your mouthpiece out. And you put your neck back in the case. Uh, cases are all different. Some of them will be on the side. Some of them will be in a little pocket, just like that. And then you put your ligature back on. You put that back gently in the mouthpiece cap so you're not jamming in there and breaking your mouthpiece. Then you take your neck strap off, and you close your case. And that is how you properly assemble and disassemble a saxophone.